Organizers of this exhibition say the exhibition is about keeping alive the memory of what the war entailed. It's also about collectively drawing lessons from that same war. Now we are here uh, at the Wall of Names so that we should indicate that on the Wall of Names we have inscribed names of people who participated and died in the, uh, in the war. We have more than 20,000 names inscribed here on, on, on the wall for the first, the, the first World War. And um, most of the names have been categorized, but they are across the, uh, the racial, the class and ethnic divisions. This exhibition uh, was prepared in, in Belgium in the framework of the centenary of the First World War that we are celebrating from 2014 to 2018. Uh, so it's, it's a way to show, uh, to remind the history of the First World War through uh, general panels and general history discussions on the, what happened during these, these times. A large number of Africans died during the First World War, but their sacrifice remains largely forgotten. The exhibition itself, it's very crucial in terms of our education and our history, in terms of where we come from as a humanity and what are some of the events in the world that shaped what we see today as the world in terms of development. But specifically for Freedom Park and for South Africans, the World War I in particular, there's always been a feeling that the contribution of Africans and South Africans in particular in the war has been diminished and minimized. It's not really spoken about and most of the people who participated were not uh, acknowledged. It's a traveling museum which tells the stories of ordinary people involved in the First World War. It also takes their stories back to the communities where their journey began. What we wanted to create is an exhibition that tells the story of the Great War in broad outlines. So basically everything that you learned in high school but forgot by now, and then some other stuff that you had never heard about before. To uh, re-educate people in this history, because it's been a hundred years, and I think a lot of people have for forgotten about this history, which uh, was very important for civilization in general. The exhibition will be showcased in other countries before it folds. Yuri Sanjamela, CGTN, Pretoria, South Africa.